Hey everybody, do you have an L4, L5 disc bulge or an L5, S1 disc bulge? Today's video, I'm gonna show you a progression how to protect your spine and some simple core exercises. I'm Dr. Gregory Kramer, certified corrective care chiropractor here in Livonia, Michigan. I've been helping people for the last 30 years eliminate pain, stabilize their spine, avoid spinal surgery so they can live stronger longer. So in this video, we're gonna show some simple progressions on how to strengthen your core, which is the front and the back part of your spine. And I'll give you the easiest ones, and I'm gonna give you some progressions. Do me a favor, if you like this information, like, subscribe, share it to a friend you know, also, I'll give you some choices, so comment. I'd like to hear from you. Which exercises do you want to do first? So, it, I've talked in the past about how we want to protect our spine. We, what we don't want is a lot of excessive flexion, okay? So, we know that when we flex the spine, when we flex the spine with a load, when we flex and twist like golfing, it's not good for the disc. These are a picture of your disc. So what we're trying to do is avoid flexion. What we want to do is pivot, it's called a hip hinge, at our hips. So in order for us to hip hinge, we need to keep this spine rigid, all right? And that means we need strong stomach and core. So this is the front, side, and then the rear. Now, I initially showed you a warm-up for your spine called the cat camel. All right, so you can do it a, a seated version where you kind of flex and extend. Okay, that's kind of a warm up. Okay, you can do it on a exercise ball where we extend and contract. But the safest way, particularly in the acute phase, that first 30 days of a disc injury, we want to do it where there's no load on the spine. So this is the easiest way and where we, our arms are under our shoulders, our knees are under our hips. Okay, so we would do that maybe 10 reps, that's all you need. And then we want to work on the back part of the spinal muscles. And the easiest way is to do something called a, a, a bird dog. And you could do it with opposite arm, opposite leg, or you can do it with just the arms. So you would start tight stomach, raise one arm up, hold it for a count of five, or you could do nice and slow. Push with your heel, make a fist, okay? And you're gonna do that maybe five to eight reps. The goal is to keep your spine neutral. Pretend you have a glass of wine on your back and you got, you're on top of a white carpet. So you're gonna do opposite arm, opposite leg. If it's too hard, you do one arm by itself, then do the leg by itself. If you can't get on your hands and knees, then you would probably do a marching where you raise one leg and raise, and you would just march and pause. And if you need assistance, you could hold on. The key is tight stomach so that our spine is not moving too much. So this could be an easier version Okay. Doing just the legs could be an easier version. Doing the leg and the opposite arm, making a fist, trying to make your foot long, pushing with that heel, pushing with the arm. Once you can do that, then we can make it a little harder. Okay. So after about one to three months and your back pain is going away, your leg pain is going away, we can test it. So now you can do it on the ground. So this is a harder version, this is a progression, and it could take you one to three months. Remember, all progressions should be pain-free immediately or within the next 48 hours. As a rule of thumb, just do one progression at a time, that way you know if you did too, some, something too much. So now, we, we talk about this, then the progression for that would be you're on one arm, two arms, one leg, or you're doing this. Okay. 
Now you're on one arm and toes. Keep your stomach tight. That is much harder. Again, I would not do that right away. Every bit, I'd wait one to three months. I'd absolutely have no leg pain while I do this. So it looks, this is the progression. Now, can you do a progression from there? The answer is yes. It's called a bird dog row. So here's another progression. You might have seen this in the gym. You would have dumbbells in your hands. You would have a weight in this hand and you would row. If that's too hard, you could back off a little bit. You could keep both feet on the ground. Notice I had one arm and one foot with a weight in the hand. So we could do this. That's a little easier. This is the hardest progression. And you would put a weight in this hand. So again, the easiest version is one leg at a time or one arm at a time. The next progression, the next progression, the next progression, again, we're using a weight in this hand. And this is the hardest progression. One arm, one leg, with a weight. Pause. That is the progression for core stability. So, remember, different exercises for different stages of healing. Do me a favor. Tell me which one of these progressions you like. Take a picture of it if you want at the gym and if you want you can post it but let me know what you like which progression you find the most helpful again if you find this information helpful like it share it ring the bell most importantly comment i'm here in livonia michigan everything we do here is to eliminate your pain stabilize your spine help you avoid spinal surgery so you can live stronger longer. On my next video, I'm going to show you a progression for the front of your spine. Today we did the progression on the back. And the next video that would be wise for you to watch would probably be this video up here. And we will cover the next progressions for your core stability.